Hello, this is the Moat, and welcome back. Good to see you all, my fruit server friends. And we're back for episode six. I apologize for my voice, I'm getting over a cold here. And I'm over at a, a friend's place. Uh, this place is down there. Anyway, uh, but I want to show you a few things today. I apologize for the delays in getting some of these videos out. Life has been crazy hectic. Uh, but I want to start off by showing you a llama, just that, that little platform is in the air. He's stuck over there, poor guy. Maybe we'll save him someday. All right. What we're going to do today is I want to show you, you know, there's my friend's place down there, 80,000. Here we go. Um, what I want to show you today is, is a couple things about wheat, uh, specifically about hay bales. There's a new perk called Combine that you can get either through vote, vote points or through donation. And it allows you to combine items like wheat into hay bales, and that's actually how this came up. Uh, it'll also convert things like iron ingots into iron blocks, that kind of stuff. There's a list, uh, so you can look it up on the forums. Um, but I wanted to want to show you, somebody was asking about, well, is it better to convert wheat into bread versus hay bales? Well, made me look up hay bales. Now, there's a couple of things that are, you know, hay bales are useful to store wheat in large quantities. It's kind of a huge decoration block. But I realized, as I read the, the Wikipedia, the, the Minecraft uh, wiki, that there's more to it. I didn't realize this until I read this, that um, hay, just like if you ever saw uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, allows you to do sort of a um, leap of faith. Right? So this is a, a pretty good drop, um, and it would certainly cause damage if I were to, to drop down there. Notice I'm at full hearts. Now if I go and drop on wheat, on hay bales, look at that, half a heart. And that's certainly much more damage than that. So when you dive onto um, wheat, I believe, the hay bales, excuse me, not wheat, hay bales. <laughs> uh, when you dive onto hay bales, it absorbs 80% of the damage. So you can fall, I want to say, up to 120 blocks with full health and still survive if you land on hay blocks. So if you ever want to do a leap of faith or if you have a, like at my place, there's a couple of places where it's easier just to jump off uh, and you don't want to have water down at the bottom, this is another option for you. The other beneficial, beneficial thing, excuse me, about hay bales is, let's go down and see his house. Uh, excuse me for climbing on your roof there, Cranky. Um, is, if I, now I have not tried this yet, so this could be an ultimate failure. We'll, we'll see. But here he is. We've got his um, his llamas down here. But it is my understanding that you breed llamas not with, not by riding them. Um, wait a minute. Let me see. What's going on? Uh, no. It said that you breed llamas with hay bales. Now, um, hmm. Obviously, not that way, because when I right-click on it, I just write it. I wonder if I... Well, I'm not, actually. Okay, what if I do... Oh, yeah, there we go. I just wasn't seeing the heart animation. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, you just right-click on them, and voila, we have a baby llama. Well, that's really interesting. I wasn't paying any attention. So, let's go over here and do that with... Uh, uh, we just read We're going to do you, and we'll go ahead and get a bell. There you go. And... Wow, it turns me. That's interesting. And there we go. So that's the other use for hay bales. Uh, so that's good to know. All right. So let me go ahead and get out of his pen. Um, now I want to go show you a little about um, herbalism, what the herbalism uh, skill will do for you. But we're losing the light. So I may go ahead and turn my shaders off at night. It uh, gets really dark. And... Um, Especially with recording, which makes it even darker, uh, it gets pretty difficult. So let me go reset here a little bit. We're going to go try a couple things with herbalism, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I am over here at Warp Farm, right there. Kind of hard to see with the colors. And always remember to replant. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Dementius and uh, Ilian. Lillian. I'm not sure how you pronounce that name, but anyway, thank you for building it and uh, leave spare seeds in the chest. Uh, remember, guys, these. Warps, public warps like this are sponsored by players and they're only here if we take care of them. So do remember to replant and be, uh, you know, be uh, respectful. All right, what I want to show you here is, um, let me move this here. I actually just did this. Unfortunately, I messed up the recording. So we're going to restart here. Uh, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and put those in there for now. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. All right, so what I'm going to show you is that herbalism has some nice features. What we're going to do is going to go ahead and take this row out. And all I'm going to be doing is left-clicking to collect the wheat. I'm not going to be doing any right-clicking at all. So as I go down here, all I'm doing is collecting wheat. And this is a nice long row, so it'll give me an, exam an opportunity to show off this skill. My, um, my uh, herbalism skill 
There we go. Uh, is at 235 so it's pretty fairly high and you'll notice that here some of these are already replanted look at this so these automatically happen when I pick up um, wheat and other plants so it would happen can also happen for carrots or anything else uh, but those are automatically replanted I don't have to right click and do what I'm doing right now to replant and as your herbalism goes higher and higher uh, it gets even better so that you really it makes it makes harvesting your plants a lot easier if you don't use a water method um, so that's one of the nice things you can do with that. Now I'm going to take a short break and hop over. I want to show you one other thing about herbalism. And then we will go over and we're going to take a quick look at one of the builds. Um, and we'll uh, kind of wrap it at that point. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. And here I wanted to show off one of the other aspects of herbalism now. I believe, uh, I'll have to check, but I want to say it's about a hundred, at, at about 120 or 150 uh, herbalism score. Um, you get this benefit. It may be less. I, I'm, I'm sort of uh, drawing a blank right now. I'll have to look that up and I'll put it in the description down below. But as long as you have seeds in your inventory and a hoe, then you can create the mossy version of these blocks as they stand. So here's this little wall I put together. Uh, the brick and, and the cobble are the easiest ways to show this. So if I right click and then go ahead and tap these, uh, there you go. I can go ahead and create mossy bricks. There we go. Until it wears off. So that's one way to do this. And you know, had I set this up larger, I could have done more, but that's one way to do this. You can also build these um, by putting these in with uh, the stone block, or I believe the cobble, in with, uh, and I can't remember the name of it right now, vines. Uh, so that's the other way to do it now. But this is kind of nice to be able to do this kind of a thing to create that. All right, so we're gonna take another quick break. I'm gonna jump over and we're gonna go take a look at some, at some one of the player's builds and then we'll wrap it up for today. All right, so we're back and we're at the town of Mermaids. Now this is a town being created by uh, clerical and ethmoids and sphenoids. Uh, guys, as always, I apologize if I pronounced your name wrong. It's hard to, hard to tell sometimes. Uh, this is a very nice place to warp in here. We've got lots of cool little things here. Uh, close the gate behind us, that's good. A beautiful little garden and fountain. Now I've not looked around here yet. Oh, and there's the, oh, nice little boat out there. And there's the rainbow that they've just talked about. They just posted this up to the, to the forums and said they, you know, have people come take a look. So I thought, let's go take a quick look here and see, uh, it looks like, oh yeah, they've got their, all their um, stock in there. They've got a nice little, oh, that's really cute. A nice garden going, so somebody has the micro blocks. Uh, all the sheep. Uh, I do like the use of the micro blocks, guys. That's really nice. It's a great perk. Love the automatic doors. Look at this. Yeah, very nice. We have people up around here. Now, guys, as always, you know, this is I'm a, a guest in their home. I'm just taking a look. Uh, obviously, they didn't lock those doors, uh, so it's okay for me to take a look around here, but always be. You know, always be polite. Um, horse stables. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Um, you know, and, and make sure you never take anything. The, the, they'll any griefing or any stealing. You know, the, the the mods and the admins will tell. And this is a good community. Oh, I like this kitchen. Um, and so it's rarely a problem. I'm I, I'm you know I'm kind of preaching to the choir. You guys are all good. Uh, just reminding any newcomers that uh, maybe have come from a different. Did I mess up the doors? Good. Uh, that maybe came from a different place. Oh, the uh, uh, chocolate patisserie, huh? I am, yeah, my uh, French is non-existent, so just laugh and we'll go on. All right, let's see. You can keep thinking I have to close that, but I do love that automatic closing. Now they've got some llamas over here. I guess we'll proceed along here for real quick. Um, oh, that's really cute. They've got little bunnies. They've got a little rabbit hutch. Good, good for show, good show. Um, all right, let's see. I'm not sure what. This is obviously a, a town in, in progress. They're doing some beautiful work here. Yeah, closed up good. And uh, they've got some really nice things here. We'll come back and visit again. I love this kind of lush. Um, excuse me for climbing over your bushes there. Uh, I kind of love. I love this lush look here and the and the use of the apples and whatnot from the the blocks. Uh, beautiful lighting setup. And Clerical's mermaid. Grotto. Look at that. Well, you guys have been doing a great job. This is this is beautiful. I do like the colors in here. It does look like a ooh, sandwich. A little hungry. Um, not my sandwich. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Good, excellent. Good to know. So, uh, what's it say? Mermaid's geode. Oh, yeah, look at that. She's obviously used to gift of the earth. Very nice. Uh, some really nice touches here, clerical. Uh, and and uh, was it ethmoids and sphenoids? Uh, really nicely done. That's really a great way to, to do this. It's nice to show off. <laughs> Look up there. Uh, the name. Oh, Nemo. Hey, cool. Um, Holy branch. Yes, from the from the um, recent. Uh, I cannot think of words today. Sorry, folks. Uh, from the recent um, holiday, uh, fruitmas. Oh, there's a whole another section over here. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm not sure what that building's all about. We can take a look. We'll take a quick look in here, and then I'm going to have to. There we go. Call it. Uh, call it for the day. Um, oh yeah, a little dock out here. We've got the boat, which is just around the corner there. Uh, very nice. What is this one? Griefing report. Well, I assume they they you know report griefing, but that's right. We won't go in. Oh no, they do. Yeah, no, no, they don't want people in. Oh, just not even. Um, okay. Oh yeah, so here's Ethmoids. Very nice place. Very nice, you know. All kinds of notes and whatnot for everybody. That's very nice. Oh. I can't even apparently. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. I'm having door problems today. All right, we'll take a quick look over here. Chicken head. This is the chicken coop, obviously. And back into another garden. Really nice. Little low overhead. I feel like I got a duck. Quack. Um, yeah. Oop. That's a little low for me, but that's all right. But, you know, when we get down over here, it's just very nice. So, guys, really, really nice job. Really like what you've done. We'll come back and visit again here uh, sometime. But this is just one of the, the many builds on here. We're going to go take a look maybe at Paradise Lake, uh, Le Commandant, Le Commandant's uh, uh, new town, hopefully in the next episode. All right, guys, um, I have to run off and do some family things, but we'll hope to edit this up and publish this tonight. And we'll try to keep going along with these episodes. Uh, any suggestions you have, any places you'd like me to visit, uh, feel free to comment either on the forums or, you know, catch me if I'm online. Um, if you'll notice, I'm also now dev, uh, which is just the other kind of quick update of the note. Uh, a quick note is that I have been promoted uh, to the developer on the plugins, uh, on the staff. That means I work on the plugins for the server. Uh, this, I have no powers to roll back reefing or anything else like that, so I don't have admin powers. I can't help you for, from a mod standpoint. Uh, but I do get to work on some of the plugins, and I've had the, the opportunity to work on the uh, combined plugin I mentioned earlier. Uh, I've also worked on the Sparkle Gun and a couple of others that are, that are out there. Oh, the color tags. So the color tags are also something I got to work on. Uh, so that's a lot of fun, and, and it keeps me busy, uh, not like I needed the extra stuff to do, but it's a whole lot of fun, and, and H1N9 has some great ideas and plans for the, the server, so I'm grateful to be a part of it. All right, guys, I hope all is well and that, that the world is treating you well, keeping the same hope for me and mine, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.